<laughs> Welcome to Gear Garage. I'm with Zach. This is my little internet show about whitewater stuff. And we've been doing a lot of videos lately about maneuvering in rapids, negotiating rapids. And today I want to talk about momentum or speed. And, you know, just really quickly to negotiate rapids, you generally have to go faster than the current or slower than the current to do some maneuver. You can just drift, you can just float down rapids, a lot of times you'll make it. You can do nothing or just stay with the current. Or advanced river users use river features. You use holes, different currents, rocks, uh, eddies to make maneuvers, but that's more advanced users. As we're learning, we really focus on catching eddies and varying. If you can just really dial these things in, you can get good pretty quick. And in doing a lot of this stuff, it's all about having the right position with the right angle, with momentum or speed. And that's what I want to talk about today is what these things are. And this is a, this is a complicated topic, so I'm going to do my best to explain it. Um, the, it it's a tough one, but I'm, I'm really required to like go through it slowly and please bear with me if it gets confusing. So I'm going to make the claim that in boating, like in, in everything, there's always momentum and speed. There are things we always have. But in boating, we use the term momentum when we have heavy gear boats. With a heavy boat, we have to think a lot about weight. And that's because to, if it's heavy, it takes you like two, three, four, five strokes to get that thing moving. But then once it's moving, it goes in that direction, right? With a light boat, you can get it up to speed with like two strokes sometimes. You can get that thing moving pretty fast, very quickly. And so when you're learning on a light boat, you know, you're thinking about just speed, how fast that boat goes. When you're learning on a heavy boat or running a heavy boat, you have to think a lot about taking a few strokes to get that boat moving. And then once it's moving, you have momentum with you, you have to kind of think about. And so it's really important when you're learning on a heavy boat to realize it takes a little bit for the boat to even do anything. And so just to explain the difference between momentum and speed, uh, they're, they're basically the same thing. Momentum is a vector in a math term. That means it has an amount and a direction. And momentum is mass times velocity. Velocity is also a direction. Velocity says, I'm going 55 miles an hour in that direction. It has two pieces of information. A different velocity is 55 miles an hour in that direction. Velocity is a vector that can get broken into its, its amount, which is a scalar component, or and its direction. So we're gonna talk about its scalar component, which is just speed. Speed is literally, I'm going 55 miles an hour. It doesn't matter how, what direction you're going. So when you have momentum, this, and, and, and their, their momentum and velocity are only different by mass. Momentum is mass times velocity. So when you have, when this number is big, you have to think a lot about momentum. Like I have this much momentum in this direction. And in rowing, that momentum really matters if the boat is heavy. If you're kayaking, momentum isn't a big factor because mass is small. You do technically have momentum, but it's, it's just small, so we don't think about it very much. So kayaking or light boats, we're gonna talk more about speed and not worry about direction. Because when you're rowing a light boat, you take a few strokes and you're at speed, right? And it dissipates very quickly. You lose that speed as well. Where with momentum, you take three, four, five strokes to get that going, you have momentum in a direction you have to pay attention to. So that's a quick explanation. I'm gonna use this little guy as a light oar boat. So one that I'm gonna think about is having speed or needing speed. So let's say there's a hole right here. And to get through a hole, you wanna get the boat, you wanna get it some momentum, you wanna get it some speed to power through. So if I'm just kinda of coming down to my light boat, I can almost wait to the last minute take two or three strokes, get that thing at speed, and it will power through and come through with less speed, right? And then if I wanna make a maneuver through the rapid here, you know, I can quickly adjust my speed. I can speed up, slow down very quickly and kind of make my way through like that. And if I'm coming towards this wall, I, I'm at the, if I'm going the speed of the current, I can slow down a little bit by pulling and make some quick last minute adjustments. So with the light boat, you can make some very quick get the speed really quick, you can make some maneuvers really quickly. Let's say you have a heavier boat, a boat with some weight. If you start pushing right here, you're, you have mass, that's gonna get you through, but if you start pushing, you're not gonna get momentum because you don't have enough time. So you just start your move way up here. Push, 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 and by the time you're here, 
you almost don't have to push because you've gained momentum. You've gained so much momentum it just powers through already. So you, you did your maneuver up here and it paid off down here. And same thing, if I'm going to come through a rapid like this, I can't slow the boat down. It's so heavy it, and it takes a lot of time. So I'm going to hit this rock, bounce around. I can't really maneuver with my oars because the boat's bigger. And so a boat that uses momentum, I'll use a whole different move on. I'll like come through the hole, I'll slow myself down, come over here, I'll pull against the current, dump momentum, go s just get rid of the momentum, and I'm gonna build what I'm gonna call right to left momentum. I'm gonna start ferrying over, I'm sorry, left to right, because this is the left. So I'm gonna ferry from the left, and just pull, 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 and after a few pulls that I'm ferrying, I've gained momentum, so at this point, I actually don't have to do anything. Like the boat's moving on its own, because I've built that momentum. And then once I've gone through here, it's gonna dissipate some, but I may have to turn and back off this wall, back, 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 back to drop that momentum. So here I've gained momentum from left to right. That'll get me through this channel without using my oars. And then after the drop, I have momentum continuing to the right, which kind of pushes me into the wall. And luckily the wall helps me drop momentum here. And then coming down here, the river's taking me into this wall. If I don't start way ahead of time and pull, 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 and drop momentum, I'll slam right into the wall. So I'll start up here, pull, 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 and make it through there. And so, you know, some of the differences between speed and momentum, with a light boat, again, you can make last minute quick decisions. You can get to speed very quickly. With momentum, you have to think way earlier but you can use that momentum and do nothing once you're in the drop or make it. So like here, again, I was able to build momentum. And by the time I got to, to this spot with momentum, I was done because the momentum was going to carry me through. So that's a lot of information I know. And it's, it's a really tough one to talk about. So I'm hoping for some discussion and people to add their thoughts here in the comment section. But to just summarize it, you know, with a heavy gear boat, we're going to use the term momentum. And I'm going to say, if, if I'm talking to somebody about a rapid, hey, I need you to gain momentum to power through a hole. And that means start early and push on the oars, get momentum, power through a hole. Or if I, I might need you to dump momentum. If you have to go through a hole, but there's a rock, let's say there's a rock right here that you need to avoid, right? You have to go through this hole and then almost dumb momentum so you don't power into the rock. You have to do that way ahead of time. And it has to be perfect. And so again, with the gear boat, I'm gonna talk about gaining momentum and dropping momentum. And I'm also gonna talk about getting momentum from left to right or from right to left. And that's almost entirely done by pulling, 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 pulling on a back ferry to get momentum from one side of the river to the other. In a light boat, we're gonna use the term speed. You know, you're going to quickly gain speed. Hey, there's a hole coming up. I need you to get some speed to go through the hole, right? Or you need to speed up to make this maneuver. You need to slow down. And so a common terminology for light boats would be speeding up and slowing down. With the gear boat, it's gaining momentum, dropping momentum, gaining momentum from left to right, or gaining momentum from right to left. So thanks for paying attention to this one. This one's, this has been an episode I've been working on for a while, thinking about how to convey it. If you have any feedback on how to make it better, any questions about it, that would be super awesome because this is a really fun topic for me. And I, I studied engineering in college, so this the math stuff I really actually enjoy. And maybe in a future episode, I'll do a more math-filled episode with equations for those of you that like that. So if you want that, leave a comment, say, yeah, that sounds cool, and I'll, I'll jump to that. So anyway, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode.